Welcome to Paradox Home Chemistry. In this video, I'll be showing how to purify ethanol from ethyl rubbing alcohol through distillation. Before we begin, let's go over some safety precautions. This experiment involves the distillation of ethanol, a flammable solvent. Have a fire extinguisher close at hand in case of an emergency. In addition, this experiment utilizes copper sulfate, which is moderately toxic. Wear proper safety gear to avoid exposure and work in a well-ventilated area. Here I have about 190 milliliters of drugstore ethyl rubbing alcohol. Check the bottle and make sure it's ethanol, not isopropanol. Preferably, the concentration of ethanol should be 70% or higher. Set it for simple distillation and add the ethanol to the boiling flask using a funnel. Distilling the ethanol will help to remove many of the impurities and lots of the water. Once you've transferred all of the ethanol to the flask, replace the thermometer, turn on the heat, and turn on the pump attached to your condenser to start cooling. Slowly bring the flask to heat. I'm using a hot water bath to distribute the heat evenly. Ethanol boils at 78.37 degrees Celsius, so collect the fraction that boils between 78 and 81 degrees C. This should consist mostly of ethanol with a slight amount of water. Here you can see ethanol dripping into the receiver towards the beginning of the distillation. Here is the flask in which the ethanol is boiling. This is where the sidearm of the distillation flask connects to the condenser. And here you can see ethanol dripping into the receiver towards the end of the distillation. Transfer the ethanol to a stir plate and place a stir bar in the flask. Turn on the stirring. Now add about 10.5 grams of anhydrous copper sulfate that I will show you how to make in my next video. Anhydrous magnesium sulfate will also work, but copper sulfate is nice because it turns blue whenever it absorbs water. Allow it to stir for 30 minutes, then let it sit overnight, or even longer. Loosely stopper the flask. Now filter the ethanol into a suitable glass bottle for storage. You can see the copper sulfate has turned blue, indicating that it has absorbed water. I found that I had collected about 125 milliliters of reasonably pure and dry ethanol. This is not drinkable because there are still small amounts of denaturing agents in the ethanol. And here it is, reasonably pure and dry ethanol. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Paradox Home Chemistry.